and look at it from a different perspective? Uh, well, you know, I graded it myself like I did all games last season. Um, we did a lot of good things, um, you know, a lot of things that we weren't able to do last year. We were able to push the tempo. We were able to do it efficiently and, and some things. We just got to, like I said afterwards, critical downs got us in uh, critical situations, red zone and third down. Those, those two got us a couple times. And um, other than that, you know, we were pretty good. But, you know, those are called critical downs for a reason. You guys put any extra emphasis on it this week because it didn't work well in the first one, or are you just no, business as usual? No, um, you know we we do third down days and red zone days just like everyone else. Um, you know, obviously, I think our each individual person knows that those were the things that hurt us. So I think their each person's attention to it was maybe a little higher. Mm. Um, but you know, it was first game; those going to happen. You know, for a first game that wasn't too bad at all. Um, but not good enough to get a win. That's the concern. So. You go from a bowl game atmosphere to now a night game in Morgantown. I, I know that that's special to you. Just your thoughts getting this season opener at, at home, I mean, and now this weekend. Yeah, you know, that's definitely going to help um, just everyone being the first home game, night game. Um, coming off that, where people are, you know, a little, a little bit excited about the team, so that's going to be good. And you know, the guys are going to be juiced up anytime it's a night game. It takes you back to high school. It's going to be a good feeling. And uh, night games here are special for a reason. And hopefully this Saturday will be just another, another example of that. About well, Towson, you know, I, I know that you guys don't really need to be told this, but don't take a team lightly just because it's an FCS opponent. What have you seen from them? And and how confident are you that you guys are going to approach this just like any other game? We are. I mean, we just, you know, the past two weeks, we've all, I've had all the wide receivers in there with me watching film when I'm watching it, and they were in there today again. And so they, they have that mindset, a business-like mindset. And, uh, like I said, Townsend's a very good team, and, and we have to bring our game to beat them, and that's what uh, we plan on doing. Coach Dello was talking, there haven't really been a whole lot of drops in camp. Look at this, just you're just one of those things that happen. Yeah, I, I'm not. I will not too worried about it. We we had a couple drops, but you know, drops are going to happen. There's a little more than you know you would like, but I'm not worried about it at all. They're 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 in that position for a reason. You know, they're hell of an athletes, and they're going to be they're going to make those plays for the rest of the year. It's like they're a confident bunch. Mm, they, yeah, they, it, they that shouldn't affect their confidence. If it does, you know, they know they're good players, and they're going to be able to make those plays the rest of the year. So. See a guy like Elijah. You know, he went to him twice in the game. The one just glanced right off his hands and you know, was talking to. Fault, well, yeah. Jay Wan said that you know still he took it he took it hard because of the opportunity that was there. But how much has he become a reliable receiver for you coming out of the back? Yeah, I mean if I throw a semi decent ball, he catches it. That was 100 percent my fault. Um, no reflection of him. He's, he had, he actually has great ball skills um, for how big he is, and he, he's going to be you know a player here for years to come. Hopefully, one that West Virginia fans will embrace. You were a guy who got to watch Owen Schmidt as a fan. Uh, do you see the comparisons that some have thrown they, out they there? They draw. They're very similar, you know, and you want to make those comparisons. I told him. I said. You get a touchdown, you're going to be able to open up a bar in town and live for the rest of your life. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he, he, he left that. He, he's a good kid. He's a great kid. Um, good friend of mine. And you know, I wanted. That's why it was. I took it so personal because he is a good friend of mine, and I wanted him to get that touchdown for it to be a special moment. That's, I, I took it harder than him, I think. So you want what's best for the team, regardless of who the player is. But a, a guy who's from the state of West Virginia, you find yourself rooting for for a guy like that a little bit more, just because of yeah. what it may mean to them. I mean, well, yeah, you want everyone to do good, regardless. But since him being here, we have a lot in common. Um, we, we're similar interests. You know, I definitely want it. And he's a good kid, so you want good things to happen to good people. Clint, talk a little.